know what I'm going to say, and they can't approach this lion publicly. So the only way they could do this was to have a bunch of real looking people on their computer talking about how flat it is, and then pad their accounts, give them a budget, but they're there every fucking day. Oh, it's not like they're plumbing or, or they're working on a, on, a, on a carpentry. You know, they're there every day. Go on. But I've got news about this, about the padding of their accounts, okay? This, you, you, when I tell you, you might go, what the fuck? Or you might go, I fucking knew it, right? Yeah. Patricia State. Patricia State. Fake accounts, fake views. Fake views. Three thousand dollars every two weeks she receives. From what? From whom? You mean? Oh man! Really? Three thousand dollars every two weeks. That's six fucking thousand dollars. So that what I'm trying to find out here, and this is what's going on here, is these people I hired by section heads and supervisors in supervisor roles at NASA, the NSA, the FBI. CIA, these aren't regular people. You may be the smartest person on your block. You may have the best marks in the history of your program. You may have written some of the most robust code ever, speak and write 10 languages fluently, or be scarily bright in math, physics, or engineering. But we have just one question for you. Can you keep a secret? We are the Communications Security Establishment Canada. We're serious really serious about our mission. We provide the Government of Canada with foreign signals intelligence and protect information of national interest through leading-edge technology. We do all this while facing the increasingly complex threat of cyber terrorism. And we think we just might fit in with your plans. If you understand what it means to put every ounce of your learning on the line, to work with some of the most learned people in the world every day, to take on staggeringly complex problems and hammer out solutions, you've got at least part of what we're looking for. But back to the keeping a secret part. You see, that mother load of information we've talked about has enormous strategic and economic value to Canada. As you can imagine, it is highly prized by those who would create chaos and threaten our safety and security. How we protect it is top secret. And as a member of our team, you become a guardian of Canada's information. That's where keeping a secret comes in. Here's how we work. We focus on two key lines of business, the collection of foreign signals intelligence and the protection of the Government of Canada's electronic information and communications assets. Our vision, to safeguard Canada's security through information superiority. How do we do that? By harnessing the very best in technology, collaborating with the very best international partners, and by hiring the very best in people power to come and work for us, people like you. When you work for us, you are entrusted with this responsibility. Whether you're an engineer, a computer scientist, a mathematician, a language specialist, an intelligence analyst, any member of the CSEC team. So here's the offer. If you want challenging work where your abilities are put to the test and pushed to the limit, in an environment where some of the world's best and brightest minds come together in a single campus in one of Canada's most vibrant cities, if you're interested in competitive salaries and benefits, flexible schedules, a respectful workplace, and a management team that is committed to investing in your learning, if you want access to rewarding and diverse career opportunities, and if you want work that has meaning, profound meaning, that will help protect Canadian assets, foil the plots of terrorists, support the efforts of our military, security, and intelligence agencies, and worldwide partners, and if you want your work to save lives in Canada and around the world, then the Communications Security Establishment Canada has what you're looking for. So, if you can keep a secret, let's talk. So this was take two. Yeah, this was take two. And so she, she would... She would go to the bank or a MoneyGram and get money, Patricia Steer, out of nowhere? No, 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 wait, wait, this gets bigger. Okay, now this you talk. Is Michael, this, is she, this is what happened, okay? She told me her backstory in the US before August was publicly that she didn't work because she had inheritance. 
Yes. I have a family. Another one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, she tells me off air that uh, she's running out of funds. She's running out of the inheritance. Okay. And she doesn't know what she's going to do after August because the lease is up. The place costs three thousand dollars a month. And blah blah blah. I say to her, "Well, why don't you move over here before you run out of money? At least you can eat whilst you, you know, carry on figuring out what you're going to do." Okay? Because I'm hot line and sinker. So she comes here, but she before she does, she tells me there's another inheritance that's waiting to be uh, dealt with the, the legalities, yeah, taxes and whatnot. That that's going to be done anytime soon. Like, okay. But I didn't know about this. But I said, okay. But in the meantime, you know, we we'll live here. Long story short, her story has been she's been living on inheritance and the proceeds of a superstore, uh, sorry, of a clothes shop that she sold for a hundred grand. She told me she only received a couple of grand from the guy that bought it, not the full amount. Okay, he only made two payments and then stopped making payments. So the backstory is sketchy. Then she tells me. The money she's likely to get is about uh, 250 grand from the inheritance, okay? I can't believe that. This is taxpayers' money. Yes. Now, this is so fucking taxpayers' money. money. Yeah, but, but wait, wait. She goes, she leaves. Before she leaves, just before she leaves, this guy that was in contact with us both, this Christian guy, drops out completely. Cuts out his YouTube channel, he Skype everything. And after she's left, he makes contact saying Patricia is not what she what she makes herself out to be. Okay. This happened with this dude. Somebody tried to do an intervention with him. Okay. He's a Christian. Some of these Christian churches tried to do an intervention on him. What do you mean okay. they tried to do an intervention? You know, you're getting pulled into this cult of the flat earth. This is what oh, so people at his church said, come back to the ball, the, the image. Yes, yes. Come back to the yeah. image. Yes, but then his fiance, the, the, the Canadian, okay, his fiance's cousin works for the Department of Defense in Canada, okay? The cousin goes to her and him, takes them to a hotel, shows them a laptop, and shows them that Patricia, that's not her real name, and she is not who she says she is that shows that her, her payments are $3,000 every two weeks, okay? Now, I didn't know any of this when she was here. Oh, so this is a guy who has somebody in the Department of Defense who's got access to some surveillance technology and toys where they can look into payments from banks into her account? Oh, so this is the Canadian, uh, so this has got to be a really dark, secret, Canadian government with hooks into the U.S. government because she's paid from the U.S. So this is like, you have to not fucking mention this. We in Canada have spies in the U.S. and we've got boxing systems. So this is why he can't talk about this publicly, okay? But what he's... he's well, that's, that's, the, that's the Queen's back door to, to, the, yes. to her colony, Canada. Yes. The, the War of 1812. Yes. I mean, it's common. Of course. This, this is all about the Pope and the, the Royals getting their land back. And they're going to yes. use Russia and China to bully it. So, so this is what the dude gets shown by somebody he has no reason to doubt. This is, He's is in the Canadian Defense, Defense Department. Yes, look. You're involved now with this. Get out of it. This, this is what you're involved with. This woman is this. This is what she is. Wow. Now, what department was making the payments, how they're made, who knows? Okay, I have no idea. I don't know. I haven't spoken to him about the details yet. Okay, but that this is something... Uh, Do you think it's Canadian funds that are being transferred? No, 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 no. These are US dollars. Okay, so this is a Canadian, this is a Canadian intelligence per person that's showing them through the US, look what's going on. Wow. So the intelligence that the, the Canadians have on the person calling herself Patricia Steer, okay? So that she steer, what he obey, said. sergeant. Yeah. Yes. Police, yes. obey, steer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is the the situation. This is why I think Jaron is bona fide. 
Jared was offered 10 grand to drop Bob from Globusters and have him replaced with Robert Bassano, this fucking cretin. Okay? Who, who, who the fuck has 10 grand to, to, to invest in the flat earth? The people making the money off the advertising on YouTube? What, what, who's giving Jared 10 grand? Who was the truth no, frequency? No, 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 listen, listen. There was this guy called Robert Bassano who wanted in on Globusters. And he wanted to buy in. Yeah, when he wanted in, he wanted to be part of the panel, okay? And Jaron said, nah, it, it's, it works fine as it is, okay? The guy said, well, uh, why don't you cut Bob and replace him with me? I will give you 10 grand, okay? Now, this guy knew that, that Jaron was strapped for cash. And Jaron said, no, nah, no thanks, man, because he got a bad vibe off him. And then to old Bob, like, what the fuck? This dude has just offered me 10 grand. To to get rid of you. Yeah. So, so this is why I say, why I genuinely think Jaron uh, is not one of the crowd, one of those guys. Well, the, he 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 was basically, you know, surrounded by people. My gut was like, you know, and. Hey everyone, November 21st, 2016, and I'm excited to say that today is the day that Scientism Exposed has been released to the world by the Celebrate Truth channel, or Robbie Davidson, if you know him. He has done an amazing job with this film, the creativity, the editing, the, the amount of time he put into this is just fantastic. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film. And I'm honored to say that he had asked me to be in the film.